So, for those in the know with retro gaming and CRT televisions, there's always been one choice that was really the go-to for CRT elitists and just anyone that knew, you know, what kind of, uh, you know, old-school CRT they wanted for retro gaming. And it's not this thing. It's Sony. Trinitron, oh, Trinitron. Mmm, Aperture Grills, mmm, Aperture Grills, yes, Sony Trinitron Aperture Grills. Uh, so then, what do we have in front of us here? Now, this is a JVC set, uh, specifically the D-Series, and specifically the AV27D201. Now, JVC, for me, was kind of an unassuming electronics company. I, I knew they were around, I knew they made things, I knew they made TVs, but I didn't really think too much of them. Um, but apparently they were one of the last makers, along with Sony, to make higher-end CRT sets. And I didn't discover the quality of JVC sets, actually, until my friend picked up a 36-inch uh, JVC. I'm not 100% sure it's part of the D series, but I believe it is. And, you know, he was really thrilled with the quality. And after looking up the specs on it, it, it had pretty good specs. And I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so the D series was JVC's kind of high end line. Now, this TV is not super new. It is not a, a flat screen. Uh, I believe this one hails from the year 2000. Uh, but for the year, it is uh, pretty well set up. You've got component, you've got S video and composite. But yes, you do have component on this set. Um, although if you realize it is a see it is a curved tube, it is not flat, but you know, a lot of retro gamers actually prefer that. So what are some of the things that make this thing cool? Well, really one thing that stands out and I'm not again, I'm not going to go into technical things because I'm not really a super technical guy when it comes to this, but that is the horizontal resolution and basically that's just, the, the higher the number, the better. And a better uh, horizontal resolution gives you better image quality. So let's get a baseline for that. So we'll say the average consumer television had a horizontal re resolution of, say, 400 to 500 lines. Um, now on the high end, let's say a later, like my later uh, Sony PVM, it has um, 800 lines of horizontal resolution. And I believe. Uh, a lot of BVMs, high-end BVMs, have 900 lines. This puppy here has 700 lines, so that is well above average for a consumer CRT set. And that, that's, pretty, that's pretty much the standard for the D-Series. They have really good horizontal resolution. Now, they do use the shadow mask technology. They do not use the uh, aperture grill that the Trinitrons do, but uh, it's still a pretty good monitor. Or monitor, well, it's consumer television. Um, so it's still a pretty good consumer television set, and uh, my friend is really happy with it, and he's shown me his, and uh, it looks really nice. Now, you may notice, uh, I'm not sure, I know this camera kind of sucks, but this uh, TV is pretty much in a sorry state, and that is because it was a free curb pickup. Um, I have no idea if it works. Uh, um, but, you know, I've kind of been looking for a set like this. Uh, I wanted something a little bit bigger than what my PVM provided, and I'm, I'm not having much luck finding a larger PVM. The one I did a video earlier, actually, is at my friend's. Hopefully, he's trying to repair it. It has some issues uh, with color. So, uh, in the meantime, I was looking for a decent-sized CRT for retro gaming. Um, the Samsung HD CRT, it's just, you know, there's just stuff that HD CRTs just can't do, um, even though I think they make an okay middle ground. Uh, so I have no idea if this thing works. Uh, I, I don't think it will, to be honest. I'm, I'm going to do a little nod here to Mythbusters, and I'm going to give a percentage. So this is what I think this TV is going to happen. Um, I haven't even plugged it in. So... Uh, I'm going to give it a 50% chance of just doing nothing. Uh, a black screen, I'll probably get a little power LED and it might blink, but I think I'm going to get a black screen, just nothing's going to happen. That, I give it 50% chance. Now I give a 40% chance of it actually turning on and getting an image, but just messed up beyond wrecking. Like it'll either have collapse where it'll just be like a white line through the middle or you'll see the image but it'll all be like kind of crushed in the middle and just be unfixable or messed up or it'll be like color blotches in the corners. Um, and I think I give it about a 10% chance of working. Now I'm not sure, like I, I briefly went over this um, with like a cloth, but I think 
feels a little bit, it might just be dirt, like I might have to really scrub this glass uh, thing. So that, I don't think that's gonna be a problem, but I just, I don't think it's going to work. But I wanted to, I actually had this, I picked it up, God knows what it's been through. Um, the little door down there is missing, but that's, that's not a big deal. Uh, but who knows what this thing's been through. They probably took it out of the house and just dropped it. Uh, then it was in the bumpy ride in my car. I just, I really hope it works, but I just, I do not think it will. But I wanted to wait and I wanted to do this journey of discovery with you guys because I know this seems there's one thing that people love <laughs> in these videos and that is like stuff that hasn't been tested and just testing it, testing it and see what happens. So maybe we'll get smoke and sparks, I doubt it. I've never seen that with a television. Uh, but I really think we're just gonna get nothing. But I will be thrilled if it works and I can get the grime off the screen. So uh, let's plug it in and power it up. And if we get something from there, I'll hook up a system. All right, now I turned off the, the light there. So, and I also wanna say, I did try to compare this set to the, uh, it's sort of the, the Sony KV27 FV310, uh, which should be about the same size. And that, that's largely considered like the best consumer SDTV ever produced. Um, actually, it comes in about 30 pounds heavier, uh, even though it has about the same screen size. Maybe That's probably because maybe Sony used heavier, maybe better components, I'm not sure, but this TV is lighter. Um, but the one thing is I could not find specs for the horizontal resolution of the Sony set. And um, after doing some research, it came up that Sony didn't want to publish the specs because they said there was no industry standard for determining horizontal resolution, which is strange because they didn't have problem publishing the specs for their BVM and PVMs. Um, so I don't know what that means exactly. Uh, I, I don't know if they're correct in that or if they were just trying to hide something. I don't know, but obviously I still do believe that Sony set is the superior set, but I really couldn't find the details on its horizontal resolution. Um, but I'm sure one of you guys probably knows, and if you do, uh, just post it in the comments. So I haven't even plugged this thing in yet. So what I'm going to do now is just plug it in and then we are going to turn it on. Uh, all right, it's plugged in now. So we are plugged in. Oh, what came on? And, uh, huh, video one. So it's on an AV, well that's good. Uh, it's the, it's displaying something, so, uh, okay, well, what I'm gonna do, uh, hopefully there's, I don't have the remote, so hopefully there's buttons on this thing to go through the source, the sources, most decent televisions have those, but I've had TVs where you need the remote. Uh, I haven't given this thing a great look, so I'm gonna, let's hook something up to it and see what we get. All right, sorry for the crooked angle here, but yeah, I am kind of shocked that it works, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I am very surprised, pleasantly surprised, but surprised. So I hooked up my PlayStation 2. Um, I'm just gonna test uh, Raiden 3 real quick. Now, there is no source button I can find on this thing, but you can change the input by going into the menu. It's a bit inconvenient. Um, if I like this set, I'll just track down a remote control, but um, there, it's not too bad because there's only three inputs. There's, there's an input one, which is the composite in the front. Uh, or Yeah, I think the composite in the front is AV1. AV2 is either S-Video or composite in the back. And then component is AV3. So, uh, let's see here. Let me, like I said, you have to access everything through this menu. Uh, so... Video one, two, okay, I guess two is component. <laughs> but uh, yeah, wow, I'm sort of surprised here. Uh, there's no blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, I just wanna, I want that to go away. Why won't you go away? There we go. No, come on. I guess I have to, huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Memory card slot one. No RAID and three data. Start game in. Yes. Checking memory card. There's no RAID and three. 
Create a save file, yes. Memory card, no rate. What? What? Oh, maybe I was hitting the wrong button. Anyways, um, come on. It does look good. I mean, this is just my first. Uh, it looks like a little bluish tint at the bottom, maybe? I don't know. Alright, so. Yeah, I think it looks good. I mean, at least for something free that I found on the side of the road, but. That is not bad. I might, you know, obviously I probably need to calibrate it. Uh, obviously, I want to clean it up a little bit too, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, JVC D series. <laughs> At least they seem pretty, uh, robust. I mean, God knows what this thing was through. And, uh, <laughs> it somehow survived. Uh, but that is a nice size screen. Uh, let me... Alright, let's take a little bit of a closer look. Now, remember, this is coming through my camera, which sucks, so, um, keep that in mind. But, I, mean, I don't think it looks bad at all. I mean, obviously, it's no... This is component as well. Um, so, I mean, I know these sets can also be RGB modded, uh, which is nice. So these these sets, I'm pretty sure, have been confirmed. The D-Series, I can't see it, has been confirmed. You're able to RGB mod these sets. Um, though it does have component, and component is almost RGB. Um, it's, it's very close. Um, but, I mean, if you want to, for something like Super Nintendo's and Genesis and all those, uh, you can't RGB mod these sets. I don't think it looks, I mean, it's not as sharp as like a PVM. It, it, the, the picture is not as good as my PVM, my 14 inch PVM. Um, I can see that right away, but it is not bad. Um, it's actually pretty good in my opinion. Um, so I don't know. Um, like I said, this is through my shitty camera, but well, I don't know, JVCD series seems to be uh, a decent alternative to a Sony Trinitron. So what do you guys think about this? Um, I think for now I'm definitely gonna keep this set. Uh, if I can find somewhere to put it, uh, thankfully it's not super heavy. I think it's about 80 pounds, which isn't bad for a 26 inch set. Um, so what do you guys think? Uh, what, do you have any experiences with JVC sets, uh, sp specifically the D-Series? Uh, and do you have any other alternates to Sony Trinitrons for consumer SD televisions? If you do, uh, please let us know in the comments. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to try to enjoy this pretty cool new TV. So thanks again, guys. began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later, this brat just won't wake up.